What's up, guys, and you are welcome back to another installation of Audio GTV, where I bring to you the craziest of happenings all over football, and it is still all about the UEFA Champions League match day three, done and dusted. And in this video, we are going to be analyzing all the big and crazy matchups that went down in match day three. So, without any further ado, let's hit the intro and get right into it. Before we get into the analysis, news coming now that Kai Havertz has unfortunately tested positive for the coronavirus. This is not something we wish upon anybody, both good and bad, and um, wishing him a speedful recovery. Hopefully, we can see him back on the pitch doing what he does best. But send my condolences to him and um, a speedful recovery. Now, moving on to the analysis now, when Manchester United never see to amaze me as they were in action on the second night of game week three as they faced Istanbul Bashak here in a game that looking at it on paper Manchester United got this in the bag but Manchester United when they want to be Manchester United they will be Manchester United as we saw in this game they lost Manchester United lost the game 2-1. The two goals were so so dumb. I like I I I I don't even know what to say about this game. The Manchester United looked sloppy in defense, looked um, very weak in midfield, and we didn't really see much of um, their strikers. But Istanbul Bashakir were just on fire from the first goal to the second goal. Beautiful, beautiful performance from them. <laughs> Manchester United, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Again, inconsistency. Playing out here. If you can beat PSG and RB Leipzig, why not? not Istanbul by Shakir. This is quite alarming. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer seriously, seriously has a lot of work to do on his side. But yeah, congratulations to Istanbul. Manchester United, best of luck next time. Moving on now to another controversial game that came in the form of PSG versus RB Leipzig. And, and another 2-1 victory there for... Uh, no, not for PSG. For RB Leipzig. RB Leipzig beat PSG 2-1. No Neymar on the side. Just That was just unfortunate. No Mbappe on the side either. Very, very unfortunate. It was, it was madness. It was madness. Absolute madness. Not only did they lose that game 2-1, but they weren't only totally showed one red card. But two, as uh, it was just everybody was just doing what they wanted to do. No one really cared about the match, anyways. Very, very poor performance from PSG. Regardless, Di Maria gets in um, the only goal for PSG. RB Lively taking all needed points away from this game. Beautiful performance from the German side, and better luck next time to PSG. The run-ups of the um, previous UEFA Champions League not pretty not really um, the kind of performance you want to be seen seeing that they actually beat RB Leipzig to get to the finals but um, hey 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 um, things happen things change but regardless congratulations to Leipzig PSG, you guys still have a lot of work to do. Another game that was played on match day three, a very, very interesting matchup, came in the form of Liverpool versus Atalanta in a, um, a rather one sided game. Actually, looking at stats and um, teams by strength and managers. Liverpool coming in um, the favorites and living in um, the winners as they beat Atalanta 5-0 in a very, very convincing fashion. Mo Salah gets in on the score sheet. Sadio Mane also scoring a goal and Diego Jota scoring three beautiful, beautiful goals to complete his hat-trick. The first his first hat-trick for um, Liverpool and first in the Champions League. Congratulations to him and um, hopefully uh, the future of him or rather his future in Liverpool 
shall be bright. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, congratulations, Liverpool. All points needed, all points deservedly taken. And let's see how far they can go in the UEFA Champions League. If you did miss some of the other matches that went down on match day 3, this is how it looked as Lokomotiv Moscow on, on game night 1 of match day 3 drew with Atletico Madrid 1-1. One, one. Sheska Donez blows to um, Munchen... <sighs> Christ. Munching Gladbach 6 0. Very, very beautiful performance there from Gladbach. Uh, let's see how far they can go with that pace. Let's see how far they can go. Um, Slavia Prague faced Bayern Munich in a, <laughs> in a sad 6 2 defeat. Bayern Munich, look, see, if Barcelona doesn't win the Champions League, my money is on Bayern Munich. I'm, I'm just going to say it now. Bayern Munich to win if Barcelona doesn't. Bayern Munich to win. Real Madrid getting back on track as day one into Milan 3 2 at home. Manchester City coming up with three beautiful goals to win the game against Olympiacos. Porto also winning in their game against Marseille. Ajax winning Mid Zealand. Liverpool also winning their game against Atalanta 5 0. Then game night 2 of match day 3, Zenit faced Lazio and another 1-1 one, one, um, draw. Manchester United unfortunately losing to Istanbul Basakir 2-1. Chelsea picking up a very, very convincing 3-0 win with Timo Werner scoring 2 goals and Tammy Abraham um, talking in the third goal. Sevilla faced uh, Krasnodar in a 3-2 victory. Borussia Dortmund faced um, Club Bruges in another 3-0 victory. Barcelona were also in action that night facing Dynamo Kiev 2-1-2 Barcelona. Ter Stegen's returning to the side. We really, really missed that man. Oh, congratulations to us. Huh. Juventus also were in action as they faced Ferenc Faros and beat Ferenc Faros 4-1 and Paris Saint-Germain losing to RB Leipzig. 2 1 and that is all for today's video and analysis if you have enjoyed the video feel free to slap a like on it subscribe to the channel if you're new still leave in the comment section below how you feel your team has been doing so far in the champions league and as always enjoy yourselves have a great day and good boy.